Last thing we need to do before we get on to the rendering is finish up our emissive stuff. I know we were going to do it a little bit earlier, but I wanted to do the decals first just to kind of get a better aesthetic. So down here I need to re-add in those, um, those red emissive things we had. So let me go in here to this set of faces and we'll go to the materials panel, add on our emissive material and then click assign. So now we have that there. And for this piece that we made earlier, we definitely need to get in and fix this one up. So let's just get in here and let me also change the material for this one. I want it to be different, actually matching this one. So material 45 is on here. Let me give this one the same one. Type in 45. So now we have that. Let's just get in here and select all these faces and we'll go to the emissive material and assign it. So now we have that. Now remember, we added in a window here, which we I think we hid earlier on, but I remember I named it window, so let's just go find it. It's in one of these collections here, it might be on the bottom as a matter of fact, so let me close up this cutters collection and just find it. And you know what, if you can't find it, press Alt-H and then it should unhide it. So in this case it was called turret window, that's what I thought, thought I named it, so let me undo. So turret window is in one of these collections. Okay, I found it. It was in the cutters collection because when we made this window, we stole the geo from a cutter, so it's still going to be in that cutters collection, so I just moved it. Anyways, once you have your window here, we need to add on a glass material to it. So we're going to go to new. We'll call this glass, and we're just going to change this to a glass BSDF. We need to go up here and scroll up until we find glass. Here it is. Now nothing's going to really show up in our um, material look dev view. We need to go into cycles to actually see the glass and see all the changes it makes and the, you know, the realistic effect it has. So this is the default, right? Like I said before, it's going to kind of make the glow from the inside a bit hazy and that's because the roughness is quite high. What you could do is either drop the roughness lower to see this better or if you want even more of that effect, you, you could increase the roughness and just have a very nice red bloom to it. Now, I don't really like this effect. I'm going to put the roughness down to about 0.25, maybe lower 0.2. And then what you can also do is adjust the IOR, which is the index of refraction. I would leave it at the default and only change it for artistic purposes because this is the real life value for glass, the IOR in real life. So I wouldn't change this too much, but you know, you can mess with it if you want, just for artistic purposes. I'm gonna leave it on 1.45. And one other final effect I like to do is change the color. You can actually change the color of the glass and get some nice little reflective bounces. So for example, if you go towards green, you get a nice green effect. If you go towards blue, you get a nice blue effect. I actually like this greenish uh, cyan type of area. So we'll just increase this a little bit, give it some nice tint to the window. And we'll just zoom out and take a look. Probably won't really be able to see it from a distance, but might as well add it in. And also for these eyes, I think it's a little bit too illuminated in here. What I'm going to do is go into look dev. Let's tab into edit mode for this piece and inset both of these faces with the I key. And we're just going to make the emissive material come from this area. And for the rest of it, we'll just assign this old material back. I think this will be a little bit nicer for the aesthetic of the scene. So let's take a look in cycles. A little bit nicer. I think it needs some depth to it as well. So we'll extrude these faces back a little bit. Not too much, just a tad bit. And now it actually has some depth to it. Now for the legs, I'm also going to hop around and drop some emissive materials here and there on the legs. So. Maybe what we could do is make this small piece emissive. So we'll assign, remove this one, then bring the emissive red material in to kind of give a cool look to the back. Maybe something down here as well. Maybe on these pieces we could add in a an emissive type of look to it. I'm trying to figure out, oh, it's because this is mirrored. So let's go in here, select these faces grab our emissive red and click assign and now we have some red color right there take a look in cycles it's not too bad what I do want to do is 
right here on this piece, this one's orange, I don't like that. What we can do is pull out the shader editor, go in here, and we'll go to object. And for this guy to change this to a red instead of an orange, all we have to do is go here to where it says emission, press shift A, add in a mix RGB. We're gonna change the blend mode over to color and then make the factor one and put this down to red. So now it'll be more red. There we go. I'm not really a fan of this back piece having this red emissive, so I'm actually gonna change this back to, uh, which one was it? It was the one next to it, this piece. So material 002, I'm gonna change it back. Let me just type in 002. And there we go, not too shabby. However, this one's a bit too bright for my liking, so I'm gonna select this piece and make a separate material instance by clicking on this number and then drop the strength down on this one to around five or so. So it's not as strong. So Ryu and I were kind of, you know, contemplating the final render and how we wanted it to look. And I found that leaving it just like this, not too many emissive lights, but not too little, seemed to be the best balance in terms of lighting. So I'm going to leave the emissive lighting here, leave everything else as it is, and we'll continue on with rendering in the next video.